recording? Nope. <laughs> All right, we're back. It's another one. Wyatt, come back. Hey, we're back. It's another one. Uh, best in show, movie shoehorns. How are we doing this week? No, Eric. Sweet. We're doing sweet. High, high energy, high energy. Let's keep it together. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, we're back. Really good. Yeah. All right, we're back. All right. <laughs> this was your pick, Eric. This was my pick, yeah. Um, movie shoehorn. <laughs> 2023. After Nick talked uh, about it for year. an hour. I chose year. Best in Show, which came out in the year 2000. It is a mockumentary directed by Christopher Guest, written by Christopher Guest, and co-written by Eugene Levy. I know Nick has seen this. I I think I heard Ben say he saw part of it, but Wyatt and Travis had not seen this, I don't believe. Never. Uh, guys, what did you think? How did we think about Best in Show? How did <laughs> it? I mean, it was it was fun. Fun time. I, I can't believe it because we talked about it, I think it was two podcasts ago, and I had the revelation that Christopher Guest is the six-fingered man from Princess Bride, and I f- completely forgot that and watched the whole movie not realizing that it was him as Harlan Pepper. <laughs> so I saw that he was also in Princess Bride. What character he was the was six fingered six- man? I don't remember that character. Okay, well, he's the guy who tortures Wesley in the tree. Oh, he's okay, the, you know, the bad guy under the prince, Humper Dick. I absolutely, I mean, I just got to start off with this. I got to get this off my chest. I absolutely lost control. Thought I was going to go insane for a minute. And, like, the kids and wife were asleep. And I was trying to, like, (laughs) not, like, keep going. But I couldn't stop when Harlan Pepper is talking about his mom getting mad at at naming nuts. <laughs> absolutely uh, lost. He named three pistachios and, 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 and macadamia nut. I mean, that that's the one. Oh, that's the that's the one that would send her crazy. Oh, well, why are you out there naming nuts? Red pistachio. All, all white. All, all natural. All white pistachio. Yeah, I, I would have to say. What scene it was when you said that. Uh, yeah, what, what were you thinking? What was in contention when I saw I don't it? know. Like, honestly, so I'll just jump in real quick here. When I rewatched this, like, I've seen it a bunch. I haven't seen it in a while, but I was kind of worried. I was like, shit, it's a little, I mean, it's intentionally, like, dry, but I was like, man, I don't know if these guys are going to like this, but it sounds like you did, so that makes me happy. But I was thinking, I thought you were going to say my favorite thing that makes me burst out laughing is, uh, God, what's the guy's character name? Um, it's the it's the catalog couple, but oh, yeah. um, when when they lose like when they're grooming the dog, and then they realize they don't have the busy bee. Yes. And, like yeah. Kirk's out on his wife. It's the greatest thing ever. Well, I heard it. Well, first when he Kirk's out and yells at her, it's hilarious. But then when he like he grabs the dog, he's like, "Don't look at anyone." <laughs> 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 oh, fuck, that gets me every time. Don't look at these fat. He literally calls them fat like pieces of shit. Like, don't look at them. He says, like, don't look at them. Yeah, I think, he's just, I think he calls everyone else losers. Yeah, that was recently <laughs> fat ass losers. They were they were my my favorite probably the, that duo. Other than uh, I liked Ma- uh, Max Berman. Uh, I liked Larry Miller from from Ten Things I Hate About You. What else was he in Seinfeld? I believe the doorman. Okay. The, the doorman. Oh yeah. Hey, you're Eric's spoiling. Favorite you're spoiling a quiz I had. <laughs> there are four characters that were in Seinfeld from this yeah, movie. Yeah, makes sense. I could think of at least because four. The, the amount of hilarious characters in this movie, mm-hmm. I don't know how you could not love this movie because of just the. Sh- I mean, a young Jane Lynch, she was so young. Uh, I mean, Coolidge was so young. Yeah, she was sense. looking Coolidge. hot. Did you see how skinny Coolidge's like arms were? Like, I don't remember her ever being that skinny. I mean, dude, oh, my God, that couple. Oh. Yeah, I love that couple. Like, I, like, didn't even understand what they were talking about because they were like, when I first saw them, he was at the Starbucks and he was reading J. Crew. And I was like, reading J. Crew? Like, what does that even mean? <laughs> 
<laughs> but then, yeah, obviously, I just got the, the four there. People. Yeah, huh? that took me a while. I got I, the the uh, executive at NBC. I couldn't. I was trying to search for the yeah. first oh, person. Yeah, so that's it. Alan Rimpel. Jennifer yep, Coolidge, yep. executive. Notice him immediately. Who's who's the fourth? The fourth is tricky. No, it's because he's bald. Uh, Scott, it's Scott uh, Donlin, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, he was the he was the swimmer guy that shaves his head. Right, that shaved his head. Oh yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. yeah, he's vastly different. Oh, well, there's, there's five then because I forgot about. Yeah, five. and then there's the there's the guy I can't remember which one it is, but there's the guy that's the he wor- he works in the clothing store, doesn't he? And George, the one where George gets the chair for the security guard, is that the right guy? Oh, that's Larry. You're talking about the the other the doorman. Why well, mention him, Larry Miller? No. He... No. So I've got. I'm never gonna. I'm never gonna. About gonna the Jennifer Coolidge, NBC executive. Who's yeah. the fifth? The fifth is really tough. I'm just gonna say it. It is. Um, is it, it the is, Asian guy that sells it? Oh, no, it is. It's uh, Larry Miller's wife in this movie. Oh my God, that's crazy! The girl that breaks up with George, she says it's. She tries to lie and do the. It's not you, it's me. That fucking that's a scene. Great call. That oh, fucking dude, scene. I got it. Catherine O'Hara is the weird, like her from oh, fucking yeah. Herb. She was a uh, Funkhauser's crazy uh, sister, right? Yeah. Like yeah. everything she does is. Oh, the never oddest. mind. Tim like, Bagley's who I'm thinking of. I loved how every single man they met, she had she had had sex with. It was just, it was so funny. I banged a lot of weight. The way that that Larry Miller like addressed her, like, "Here, let me hold your dog. Here, take this shit," and then like kissed her. It was so weird. <laughs> she was just like, it was so weird. No, my favorite. Hey, honey. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead, Nick. Go ahead. I don't know. Go ahead. No, no. I I, I already messed up my policy. I'm supposed to only spoke. Speak when spoken to this week after last week's charades. What was so last week? I don't have last week. Charades. Just Nick yapping again. <laughs> you go ahead, Wyatt. No, no, no. Please, you. I was just going to... The whole thing with Larry Miller is when he's he's like, no, honey, I got this. This is what I do for a living. That, that, One of the first times I saw it, that's when I lost my shit. That's exactly like, what I was... I'll gouge your eyes out with exactly my phone. That's what I was about to say. That's yeah. the exact scene I was right. about to say. I, that's why I, I figured, yeah. and that's why I didn't want to talk. No, it's fine. I think I... They always the jump. They, the secret, they all jump. Yeah, that was going to say, that's, that's a hilarious part, too. Is, gouge yeah. your eyes out! I have the whole quote written here. He call, He says, you little freak. <laughs> now will you get down here? I'm gonna punch you in the eye till it turns to jelly. Oh, I'll man. stab you with forks till you bleed. How about that? <laughs> I I feel like because how many times have you seen this thing, Eric? Don't look at him in the eye. It challenges him. He doesn't like that. So many times is like for a little bit, but probably five to ten times easily. Yeah, yeah. this. I, 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 so Amanda watches this <clears throat> twenty times a year, no problem. Like it's it's one of the things she has on in the background, just doing whatever. Yeah, it's wow. a, it's so when you see wow. enough of it, the little tiny things are what start to pop out. Like the kid with the little parachute army yeah. man, like him doing shit like that is just. He got me this time. Fucking too. weirdo. I was gonna say it's, that's one thing that that I've only seen this the one time, but I could tell that. I mean, to me, Big Lebowski was kind of like that. I mean, I don't even really remember how much I liked it, but I just saw it, like, after the f- first time, the second time, the third time, I just really fell in love with, like, the subtleties and you f- you find different st- new stuff funny. I-, I could really see the rewatch factor in this movie, even not having rewatched it. Amanda, like, opened my mind to things I'd never really thought about before. Like, my new favorite part of the movie is her favorite part of the movie. She's convinced me. It's when they're talking about going, and they're like, it's the Terrier people, right? Eugene Levy and and whatever her name is, and Cookie, and they're going, they're about to go, and they have that like going away party thing, and they're like, oh, honey, 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 they're going to Philadelphia, they're gonna see where they make the cream cheese, and then, <laughs> and, then yeah. and then Cookie says, I want to see where they make the light cream cheese, yeah, and then everybody laughs and yeah. laughs. the light, the light, that was good, that was a good yeah. one. I want to see what that's. Amanda said that that's the best line, and it's, for right now, my thinking is I agree with her. Like, that, that's just such yeah. bullshit. It's really like, good acting. Urban it's probably not made of bricks. Like, yeah, it's, it's probably not made of bricks. Funniest thing ever. <laughs> it makes it feel real. That's yeah. what I noticed. I was like, 
I mean, it's stupid. It's like intentionally, obviously, like, over the top. But I everyone, everyone, like the... plays their character to a T. Like just like somewhat of a eccentric. I can't say that word. Eccentric. Yeah. Eccentric. Yeah. yeah, you got it. Eccentric. How much, how much of the movie is improv? A, a lot. It's, it's like it's, it's a like curb. It's like it's like structured improv, right? So they have the template, right. and then they just say go. Right. So yeah. I was the audio commentary, and I don't. I mean, I've only that was a long time ago, but I remember uh, the director. What's his name? Christopher Guest talking about Will Sasso's character, Art. and he has. Yeah. You yeah. know how he gives him the tape at the end, and he's like, "I got, I made you this tape for the road." He mm -hmm. said that that was that was some shit that was not part of anything, and it's like a, it's like a old improv trick that you bring something like an item, a token, to make it feel more real to you that you've like done something extra. And he said that that's like the perfect type of thing that he always hopes that people like try to work in stuff like that. So like this is a lot of improv. Stuff. Yeah, that's so sick. No, I love the uh, John Michael, uh, the, the the gay dude. He was fucking that guy. That actor is so damn funny. I mean, when he checked it, like one queen, <laughs> excuse me, excuse, pardon me. Like, dude, like, everything he, did, he I, I love just. Can, I, can you take one of those salamis out? I just want to hold it. <laughs> he said, yeah, one of the pepperonis. Dude, I want to hold it. He's great, man. You can take the membrane off. He's, 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 <laughs> yeah, his comments are... And him, when he's like in the actual show, when he comes out and he has that little underhand bullshit, <laughs> it's so freaking good. I fucking love it. Uh, I thought Fred Willard and then other commentator... The interaction there was so good, just because you could tell the guy was just like cringing the entire time. Fred Willard is. I read that I was think off he of plays it so movie. straight. I wonder how funny that yeah. guy is in real life, though. Like, I bet that guy is really funny, but he has to play the straight man there. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I've never yeah. seen him in anything else. I don't think. Jim Pitt. Yeah. Trevor Beckwith. I almost felt like they copied. That kind of dynamic in dodgeball, and I was kind gonna of, say that too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 I'd agree. I mean, they yeah. kind of, you know, said, you know, took it a little bit more extreme, maybe, but they definitely were influenced by that. I feel See, that's like. what's totally. cool, dude. That's what, like, in reality, that's what you could do. Just fucking put a twist on like a classic movie that you're fucking into, like. Well, that's pretty much all art is wow. in response to art you've already seen. Yeah, music, most music. This, music, I mean, all of it. I, the, I think Fred Willard has it's, my favorite, like, voice or whatever you want to call it. Like, cadence, just his delivery is just like, he could say anything and I'll just die laughing. Cool. You showed me the what I'm, happened thing. That shit is unbelievable. Fred Willard, the guy we were just talking about. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just like, just the way he, he's just so believable. I was like, oh, oh yeah. I was like, <laughs> He's just so good at that shit. Or was. Parker, Parker Posey's been around forever, dude. She's funny as shit. Like, I want you guys to watch Waiting for a Guffin. Maybe we'll do that in the future. But yeah, yeah, I'll watch that. Entry point. But it's it's pretty much the same stuff. What, what is the What Happened From, Eric? That's a Mighty Wind. That's right. Okay. And what I've else seen is that like he... once. What's his? Is this his highest like regarded movie? I mean, this or... is Spinal Tap, probably, oh, right? Uh, I mean, I've oh, seen that. I saw that as a kid. Best in Show did the best because it's dogs and it's just widely. Yeah, yeah. That's what Eugene. Le I read Eugene Levy was saying like it would just took off because people love dogs. Like that's genius. <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking dog movie, dog. Mm -hmm. Do it. Yeah, you All saw right. how good Homeward Bound did in theaters. Are you kidding me, dude? I'm gonna I'm gonna make y'all watch a dog. Speak oh, shit. I should make you got watch a dog a movie under the under the yeah, collar. Yeah, got a dog movie with fucking uh, Willem Dafoe. It's silly. It's mm. it's a it's a Disney movie, but it's fucking great. What's that one called? I'm not gonna tell you. We'll talk later. You're gonna shoehorn it? That's not my pick. Yeah. Is this your favorite of his movies, Eric? Best no. Of show? Waiting Which for is your Guffman. favorite? Waiting for Guffman. Yeah. Is that who? For who? For this director, writer, oh, guess. Guess. he uses the same people. Like, I mean, it's the mockumentary. Yeah, I love They're that. They're basically like improv. I truth. fucking love that. Like when they were going on that run with Vince Vaughn and like all that group of people, man, that was the some of the best times in comedy. I always love when there's like a team of people yeah. that are like, I'll, for some reason, it just makes me very happy. Like that would be never, so sick. 
Mm -hmm. I've never seen this as Spinal Tap either. It's pretty yeah, good. Those that. are the two. I would say Spinal Tap and Waiting for Guffman are the are like the, are splitting hairs for me. That's his best. What is Waiting for Guffman about? Holy shit! Wait, that guy did Princess Bride. Uh, hey. I think Christopher Guest directed that. Oh wait, no, 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 no. He was just in it. He was just in it. Count Rugen. Waiting yeah. for Guffman is Guffman is like this. Um, like critic who like it takes place in this fictional small town in Missouri, I think. Yeah. So it's all these people, and they're like, um, Christopher Guest. You know what? I think I first. think I have seen that before. <laughs> 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 this is why I don't. Want to do this stupid sure, it wasn't on him. <laughs> you had his face. Still. I'm glad. That you well, they're, they're, interrupted yeah, they're like, Eric for an important comment, at least. They're waiting for some like critics to show up, right? Yeah, they're waiting for Guffman, dude. Yeah, I'm bet they're waiting for Guffman. That's my guess. That's my guess. Pretty much, Ben just knocked out of the park. Not even laugh. <laughs> <laughs> He's so perplexed by the. What is IMDb, IMDb telling you? Anyways, um... I'm just, I'm just like seeing, I'm watching the trailer to see if it strikes a chord. That's something to do. I think on this is a. Life. I think this is a, a, a common used uh, story to get. Going on. Yeah, it's been going on since. Uh, I don't know if he was the first to do it, but you guys can roll your eyes. Nikola, uh, Nikolai Gogol, the Inspector General, eighteen fifties. I want to say money. Same story though. Everybody falls all over themselves, expecting somebody to come. And they're yeah. like putting on airs and stuff. But actually, the government's very well done. Actually, this is this is a pretty interesting trivia about uh, Best in Show. Fred Willard was specifically instructed by Christopher Guest to not do any research on dogs, <laughs> while <laughs> while, oh, while Jim Piddock, the other guy, had to do a lot of dog research so that his character would appear knowledgeable, and as a result. Guess says some viewers are surprised to learn Pettick is not a real dog show judge. <laughs> <laughs> the name of his book is one of the best bits of the whole movie for me. Follow the lead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's a good book name. Come on. Follow yeah. the lead. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Uh, um one thing I wanted to ask is, obviously, the way the story is structured, you have the groups of two. And I, we've kind of touched on it, but I was interested to hear everybody's opinion on who their favorite grouping, like, pairing was as they got to who the was, show. Who was with Harlan? Question. But first, before we do that, I actually thought, I had some sort of thought, should we have a draft? Oh, my God, I'd love draft that. Yeah. How do you get your pick? Well, we have to turn, do a random order really quick. But then we'll do a snake draft. Yeah, please do it's that. It's actually really tough. Do you snake draft individual understand. players or groups? Yeah, what are oh, we... Individuals. What is the point? Okay. What, what, are we, what are we trying to do? I would like to do the individual drafting. All right. I'm going to do a random generator. You guys keep talking about stuff. Yeah. So he does the same thing also, Ben. I'm waiting for Guffman. Very similar type of thing, I think. And correct me if I'm wrong, Eric, but it's like, the, a mighty wind is kind of like that too, where they're you know they're getting ready for to, the the show to be sold or something like that or picked up or it's very similar, right? Yeah, I haven't seen that one in a while. And there's an what and shit. There's another one that I'm thinking of. He he, you know, like the mascots that he did on Netflix. He does a very similar type of bit all the time. Mm -hmm. Or there's some show. I'm trying to look. I need to look up his movies because I'm definitely missing one. All right. Yeah. Why, yeah. Why you have the first pick? Ben second, Nick Travis, then me. Are we doing characters or? Yes, characters. Main characters. Main characters. We're only doing two rounds. <sighs> Damn! I got the number one pick. That means you're picking characters. Characters. Well, You could go a different strategy. God damn, dude! I mean, for me. It's, 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 it's a tough one. You know, I mean, I'm doing it because this, and this is, is I'm going to reach here. I'm going with my guy, Larry Miller, who, uh, Bob, what the fuck, Bob, uh, 
Bob something or other. What the fuck was his name? No, I don't know. Name's Alabama. Right. The Doorman. He's known as the Doorman. Yeah, I'm going oh, with yeah. him. All right. Yeah, Off the beat. Of one of that bad. bad. Like Reach. Reach. <laughs> it was a bit of a yeah. He was... <laughs> Reach. I just wanted. I can not right, You gotta keep. Back. You gotta keep. You gotta manage this, Eric, because we we're not gonna remember whose pick it is. Max, you gotta tell Max who's Berman is his, thank you, is thank his you. character name. God damn, he fucking rocked it. Everything he did was amazing. Then who are you taking? I gotta go with Harlan Pepper. Ah! <laughs> he was by far my favorite character. What was your favorite bit of his? I mean, the nut bit was good. Uh, when he was talking about the fly fishing shit, that, <laughs> that made me laugh pretty good. I love when, when he was, was this LLB? When he was when he was talking to the Swan guy, especially. And what did the Swan guy say? Is that LL Bean? And then he starts checking his fucking jacket. <laughs> I love it, Eric. I like this one, oh, Eric. Lord. I think it's just like the, the mics are just crossing over each other here. That's gotta what be. What were you? What were you gonna? What were you gonna say, Eric? He uh, already said what you said before you said it. It was crazy. You're not oh, fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Uh, my favorite right, who's next? Is, is when he's just singing that honky tonk sound. I was honky tonk. Oh my god! Oh, oh, oh yeah. What are you like, making the honk? Blood hand. I, I didn't watch it. I didn't watch it this this week, but I remembered from the and I told Eric this. I think it's actually one of the most genius things I've seen in comedy ever. Is the hieroglyphic of of a of a um, ventriloquist like they have. It's like it's been going on forever in history, and then they show a shot of a of a hieroglyphic of a smaller hieroglyphic <laughs> doing. <laughs> yeah. it takes like a it's like a split second, but it is one of the yeah. deepest cuts. It's so that oh is God. unbelievable. Did you guys notice that it? Okay, so this is shot. I don't know if they said what year this was supposed to take place in. They said it was the one hundred and twenty fifth <laughs> show. What? And that would not, that mean they started in like the 1800s, and I don't think that was the case. So I think that I think was that supposed the, to be a I joke think there. The dog show, the American Dog Kennel or something, is the, is the second longest run. I learned that this year. The second longest oh, running oh. sporting event in the United States. Like, it's really? so old. Had dogs for a long time. Yeah, you got rich people, rich English people, or like pseudo, you know what I mean? Like, they bring that so old bad. world shit over here, and that's yeah. you know. How do, you, how do you get a miniature dog? Do you just uh? How do you do that? <laughs> yeah, he keep watching us have sex. No, I mean, he's like, oh, they just breed him. He's like, you think you'd want to make them bigger? It's like grapefruits and watermelons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, holy shit! Exactly no, I that guess like. the Westminster was 1877. Jesus, that's it. That's the joint. All right, Nick, it's your pick. Well, I'm up. <sighs> Oh, Larry Miller yeah, that's tough. and Harlan are gone. No, I'm definitely female first in this. I'm gonna I'm gonna go Meg Swan. Is that Parker Posey? Parker yeah. Posey. Yeah. yeah. Damn, all my picks getting taken. <laughs> she lost her mind on the fucking yeah. in the no, room. She was oh my god, that was she she was great. Amazing I'll, work. I'll die if I get my second pick. No, I'm not going to get the shit. Guy, I love this game, Eric. This That's is great. We should do, we should do this with most Larry of the Miller. movies that have good ensembles. <laughs> the yeah. guy that she interacted in, with in the pet store was also great. It really is. This, one, this one looks like a B. <laughs> this has not, this doesn't them, look them, anything. Their first interaction outside of, like, you know, the when they're, like, talking about how they met, she, there's this extreme close-up, and she's just, like, smiling. She's, like, they are so good. When I they first when I first realized they both had braces, it was just like, what what is going on? Like, <laughs> what is going on here? You don't know who you're talking to. I read that when I <laughs> got I got well, there also, by the two, but she got braces for this role. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, no, they, they can probably just put those on them. Like, no, I read it too. Right? She got braces. I mean it's not I, fun. So what? <laughs> she's a method actor. She's yeah. funny, but I don't know if I think her or Catherine O'Hara is funnier to me. That's it, that's no, my no, first no, pick yes. was between the two of them. The name tag on the breast, not on the shirt, like that at the 
at the welcoming thing. <laughs> what a whore. Oh, my God. Dude, yeah. the- <laughs> I forget what he says, but she goes, she's correct. She goes, oh, no, hundreds. I've had hundreds. Yeah, yeah, hundreds. Oh, hundreds. Does she said well, dozens. well I, I didn't know that. His teeth were a joke. Those that is teeth. the first and last time I, 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 I have I really ever done it on a roller feet. coaster. <laughs> <laughs> I've banged a lot of waitresses, but you were the best. <laughs> I think one of the guys' names was what the fuck was it? Oh my she god. Oh. Both hey. Oh, uh, bulge. Wasn't the guy bulge. in the bulge? Yeah, in the bulge. 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 Yeah. Bulge. Oh, bulge. Bulge. Yes. Bulge. And Travis, you're up. Yeah, that was when Levy was banging his head against the microphone. <laughs> and she says, "You don't forget the best." Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, with what's left, I I'm I'm between. Man Swan, I don't know what his name is. I think I gotta go Catherine O'Hare. I think she would be what's all right. Are you taking cookie? Yeah, taking cookie. His name is Hamilton. Huh? Hamilton <laughs> Swan? Hamilton Swan. Hamilton. <laughs> Man, I he was pretty damn good. You're taking <laughs> Hamilton? I have to. He he just makes yeah. it more anyone. Like I love this entire cast, but yeah. yeah. God, I he, almost I, took him first. There was something I caught like for the first time when he runs his dog out. He's like, he holds his head to the side for some reason. I don't know if you guys noticed that. Notice it's that. like a little thing this time. It's, he just looks so freaking stupid. Like <laughs> he, he has the funniest scene waiting for Duffin, in my opinion. All right, I'm taking Hamilton uh, right. And now uh, this one's tough. Uh, between, oh, uh, actually. <clears throat> I thought I at the end go it was Scott. fucked up. I gotta go with Scott. Although I think his partner might be funnier. Like, underrated funnier. Yeah, I love that guy, man. Which one are you taking, Michael Eric? McKean? He yes. Scott. McKean. I'm ta- I took Hamilton and Scott. That's a really okay. nice one, too, there. That's really nice. That's gonna form your team out nice. Yeah. Uh, I thought it was really fucked up. The Swan couple got a different dog at the end. Yeah, yeah they're fucking they're, insane. They're shallow crazy yeah fucking people. just the worst they just got rid the of it yeah one sound even time. though they were definitely the ones driving that dog insane yeah. <laughs> yeah. all right well for my second pick i'm gonna have no one to pick yeah you're gonna have no That's one true but who are you what gonna you give me i i guess <laughs> i'll i guess i'll go with uh hey I don't know. I guess I'll go with with Fred Willard. I liked I liked his parts. He he lifts the movie up in the second half. I don't think it would be all right. That's complete without him. I I think that this this I got my first and second together here, and it I think that it makes Eric and I on the very similar wavelength. I'm taking Stefan. Like I'm rounding off. So both Eric and my you guys are Swan and Gay couple. <laughs> We we got both sides of those, and I I yeah. do. Agree. Eric mentioned it, and I do think pound for pound, I think that this guy, it he, I don't know about what he's better, but he has less he's of like he's more in the shadow of the joke. So like, solid. You know, he's, he's such a I great actor. He, like, he like he's extremely convincing and yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. like he's he's, he's a gay. great actor. Like he's like <laughs> he's a, a very actor. humble gay. Like. <laughs> It's weird, and I but I also like how you know he 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 you know he loves it. he sells that he love you know he's always just like no stop it you know he loves oh, no. it <laughs> he loves it and when they're in the in the um God, the Mayflower Hotel or whatever it's called and they say he says a lot of dogs out here in the lobby too and that's when he goes he like giggles and tells him to stop it yeah that's a gay that, that he's gay like yeah. the actual gay person yeah yeah yeah. Wait, he's actually that gay? Oh, I don't know, but <laughs> maybe. You know, like, you know, he sells that, like you're saying, yeah. those little things. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Man. All right, Benny. There's like nobody left. Uh, a couple. Oh, I got I'll third. take. Uh, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to take. 
I'm going to take the hotel manager. Yeah. I like Tim, too. That's a good pick. I like Tim. That's quite I a thought pick. he can. I thought. I thought he didn't contribute a lot, but what he did contribute was great. I mean, he played. He played a very straight. I mean, all this crazy oh. dog people, you know. And he, but he just yeah. plays it perfectly straight. You know, we got the we got this uh, for the smaller animals. The I don't know what he said. The Shih Tzus. You know what, I, guys? The- you know what, guys? I'm gonna go with a sleeper pick here. And I'm going to go with my man, um, Leslie Ward Cabot, uh, the old uh, blue. Blue. <laughs> From old school, blue. <laughs> he just sat there as she yeah. said, "He, I got to I gotta push and get him off me. He's got a sex drive. <laughs> yeah, no shit, he wants to fuck you. Uh, I got to bat him off me. I'm going with him. Um, <laughs> you really, you know, his presence alone. No, I, no. Was Catherine O'Hara still left? No. She was taken. She was there's, taken. There's, I'm not ready for this. For the there's like conference. two or there's like two big names still. Three big names. Yeah. There's yeah. no way I get. I would. I, I would go. I would probably go. Uh, what the fuck's her face? Jane Lynch. Yeah. I mean, she, yeah. the second she walked, I was out, tempted to go Lynch. She's, but... she's having sex with Jennifer Coolidge. It's not her funniest role. She looks role, like but... a, a two early two thousands man. With yeah. The, the blonde hair. <laughs> I do like what she did to my hair, though. It's not her funniest role, but I think she she might be the best actor in the whole movie. Like she just she's does, so she's confident. so believable. I, I, I'd, I'd argue Michael uh, McKean uh, was the was the best actor. Stefan, he was. But, yeah. Oh yeah. And, yeah. It's close. I, I really I really think like I don't know if Jane Lynch was in a lot before. To this. be honest, I think Larry Miller. I think Larry Miller. I don't know why he <laughs> got more shit. Like his voice, what he, what, something about him for me sets me off. He's hilarious. His, Dude, his his, his role as the doorman is one of the greatest things in the world. When he delivers his his material, is perfect. In Ten Things I Hate About You, he's fucking a great. Oh, he has the dad. Awesome. Yeah. As, he's uh, great. Uh, uh, who, great. What was the show? That, that girl was in Alex Mack. Oh, yeah, yeah, I loved that show as a kid, man. Secret World of Alex Mack, that shit ripped very hard. What's the Seinfeld? He was going to be George, right? Yeah. Makes sense. Really? He's friend- Yeah, he's friends with... I think he was good friends with Jerry at the time, and I want to say he auditioned, but they gave it to Jason Alexander. Wow, or something. He, yep. he would have been a good George, probably. Dude, yeah. he's, a neur- he's insane. <laughs> it's hard to look at him and think pathetic, though. He... Eh. I can see it. It's hard to imagine anyone but Jason Alexander. But yeah, yeah. Because yeah. like Larry Miller does that like psycho so well. Yeah, he's he's that got was... like an aggressive feel yeah. to him with most yeah. of his roles. So there you go. Well, yeah, and I mean this was enjoyable. I mean it was just a never ending kind of cycle of uh, bits. It was literally just like sketch, sketch after sketch after sketch. It was. Well, I read that like the script or whatever they went off was only sixteen pages long. Let's see, that'd be so. How fun would that be if you were? Uh, like, why can't we do that? Why can't we get a, some well, cameras? We could. Come up with a basic we're not outline. Yeah, you have to be funny. Are you funny? Tell me a joke right now. I couldn't do that because I don't a have fucking material. Joke, man. That's, what, that's why I like mockumentaries because it's. I feel like, like well, you were saying we have to. We're not talented because these people are doing everything on their own. There's nothing to work with. Like you said, it was a 16-page outline script. Oh, There's no way they like wrote all those jokes down. They're just like, hey, this is your character. You're into LL Bean catalogs. And you have- <laughs> You're and your husband yeah. are being crazy. I mean, so, like all these people, they go catalog. to these elite. They go to like elite elite schools to do this shit, and then they go and scrounge right. around in nightclubs and shit. They well, spend their lives doing it. They, like they Rob form, Williams and all those people. They're in a comedy troupe that you have to like get into. You can't yeah. just be in it. You have to like get accepted in. So I mean, I get it. I, I mean, it, I, I don't know, man. I feel I like think nowadays that if we the problem is is our humor is so over the edge that we probably couldn't provide it to the mainstream. Oh, you don't think that you're like whole like people that don't speak English shouldn't be in the country? <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Yeah, I don't think that plays on NBC. Yeah, yeah we, can't, we can't really do that one. 
Fox yeah, might and take also it. the complete lack of any formal training or practice. <laughs> or what is that from when he's like, it's exactly like that. He's just like, he pretty much lists off if we had, all, if, I yeah, can't remember had, what yeah. it is. I think it's but, Seinfeld. Well, there is the Seinfeld, but he's got talent. You don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Like like this. Could I will do. know. I could be a broadcaster. Yeah, or, exactly. Well, you're usually a, a former player. He's like, well, I, make, I can make them. You, you make good comments. Or... <laughs> I think that's what you're give those to, you know, maybe people in there. broadcasting. Or maybe another part in Seinfeld, like similar thing in Seinfeld. All right, so we're going to pivot to just watching Seinfeld as a group. Like, what are we doing, Travis? Hey. Hey, don't. I, I could do it. Seinfeld. Come on. You want to pivot? We can pivot. No, no, no. I mean, I had fun watching this. I like. I'm liking some of these picks. I'm. I'm just like you know. I want to watch Seinfeld too. And like, I just are we want two to... for two or well, three for three? Considering I didn't watch uh, Starship oh, Troopers. Troopers. Uh, Rip. Troopers. Uh, where, where everyone's pretty much like the movie. We're on a roll. Someone hated yeah. last week. Who who hated last week? What was last week? I didn't hate. I didn't hate. Was it Wyatt? Wyatt hated it. Raising, raising Arizona. Oh, I hated it. Yeah, yeah it was yeah. boring as fuck. About like raising a dumb kid that you stole. Like, really? That was fun. <laughs> oh, so fun. We stole a kid. Oopsie daisy. We needed it because my wife can't have the babies, so we are justified to steal the babies. And in the end, didn't get a baby. What's your wow. favorite mockumentary TV or show? It could be a TV show or movie. I can't even think. I will give you some. Uh, think of Chris Lilly. Everything he does is mockumentary. Well, yeah, Summer Heights High. Then I'll go with that. You got The Office. You got the Parks and Rec. All those kinds of shows. <clears throat> um, you got any Christopher Guest movie? What else is mockumentary? District Nine. Oh. Mm, no, I don't think. Wait, so. District Nine is a mockumentary. That's what it says. That's here. Oh, you typed in the same Google search. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it coming up with that? Uh, what about Borat? Borat, well. What about Borat? Uh, what about, you know? Well, I mean, if you're going to put the office in there, then that's, that's my tough. choice. That's, that's tough. That's very <laughs> tough. <clears throat> Do you think this movie influenced the office? The English version? No, the British version. That's I, what, Yeah, that's what I mean. The British no, the version? British. Yeah. You think they watched this? Best in show? Uh, maybe. I mean, I'm sure uh, what's his face probably saw this movie. Uh, Ricky Gervais? Yeah. I mean, yeah, it, it does have an office feel to it for sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is whoa. that? I think my favorite is uh, I really like Chris Lilly. Summer High Ty? Summer yeah. High Ty, probably my favorite. Number one, I think Angry Boys is better because it was like actually emotion to that. That was surprisingly like good. Yeah, I agree. But I like Summer High the best, I guess. Who is that? Well, I read, I clicked on an article from Yard Barker and they say the top one is best in show. Yeah. Well, that's why I asked. I feel like this was the first mockumentary that I really was aware of. I feel like. Oh my God. It, what the fuck? When does this come out? There's a mockumentary uh, with the guy who plays Dexter, Michael C. Hall, as a bowler. And it, another bowler is Tim Robinson. If you're not watching, if you don't know who Tim <laughs> Robinson is right now, you're not on this planet. It's every meme that we're posting. Um, yeah, how could I not know Tim, Tim Robinson? Robinson? I hear about him every day. Oh, he's... Oh, he's, he's that white guy with the weird fucking he, it's a what uh i think you should leave on netflix i don't know oh dude you should you should give it a give it a whirl nick go ahead and give it a whirl and just yeah, I'll, yeah I'll give it a whirl they're about 15 what? minute episodes you can rip them off real quick and you'll be standing staring at your tv like what the fuck is happening i showed it to I eric and to watch years ago oh years ago. of course you did uh yeah, Let's go. how the fuck does this come out? Looks amazing. I started watching Detroiters. I said that last week. I started watching Detroiters just because he's in it, and I'd, I'd only seen I Think You Should Leave First, but it's really weird. It's him and the black guy. I hate them. Obviously, it's weird, but it's less like weird it. than I Think You Should Leave. 
but that that I like they're, weirder. I like they're weirder. Sick. They're sick kids. Yeah, and I think that that's like in reality, that's what you have to do. I think that we're all sick kids, obviously, and you have to be willing to put out your sickness there and think that people will absorb well, your sickness. Saying, well, like workaholics, that, those that's like exactly you know, in the similar vein, but this is like way out of the box right this makes me think that you can just take some weird fucking idea you have and say fuck it let's see if this works because well you see how like andy sandberg was he's like part of the production crew of this too but he was in season one it was one of the game yeah, shows yeah, yeah. so the link with this guy apparently he used to be a snl like one of the guys they mentioned at the end of snl so he's been in a couple i've right. seen like i've seen a couple clips that people send me and he's in it but he was like a failed SNL member because all of his skits were just too outlandish. <laughs> and so this, Net this Netflix show is like him doing what he wanted to do on so SNL. Happy. That makes me so yeah. happy. It's, it's like he most... it was too it was too much for them. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. Yeah, it's, because it's, it's it's incredible. To me, it is incredible as well. I think it's like it, it makes me sad. It makes I love Kroll Show, but it almost makes me think Kroll Show is is so much less after I've seen this. I ju we just started rewatching that on Paramount Plus. It's there for free, and yeah, yep. we're and I was howling laughing at Kroll Show again. So I would watch I would rewatch it to see how you feel about it because I had the same thought. I mean, like, I'm not saying I don't like it. I just think that this has really opened my eyes to what's really possible. Like, Kroll yeah. Show was, like, a stepping stone, I think, for this with, like, the out there. That's, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Like, some of the that. Kroll Show bits I really don't like, and I agree with, like, some of these bits I don't like, it's but I, comedy, I'm more right? interested in these bits than some of Kroll, the, the bad Kroll Show bits. What, what I like about Kroll Show a lot, and probably that makes it a little bit ahead of I Think You Should Leave, is the layers of, like, the spin-off. Because the whole thing's about critique of, it's every, like, yeah. of all the <laughs> bullshit a and e shows right so it's like yeah. oh there's a spin-off show within the spin-off show like and he keeps his little yeah, universe yeah, totally. going yeah i like that a lot but i really like the bachelor bit with him in the latest season of i the think you should leave the, the zip yeah. line shit ronnie that, all you do is use the zip line <laughs> when he's trying to eat fast so he can get back to use yeah. the zip line you, you yeah <laughs> okay all right we better move on we're still podcasting right. here sorry guys you need to watch the show thanks no problem. <laughs> yeah, Eric, Thanks. you like that show? You watch? I'm I haven't, you had, watch I haven't done a deep dive on it, honestly. I watched like okay. the stuff you sent me. That's about I know. It. I know. Pedram got all in. He's in. I mean, I'm sure it's funny. I laughed at the stuff you sent me. So fucking wild shit, man. Just start. Mm -hmm. I'll start it up here soon. I'll give it a whirl. You fucking do that. You can't fucking uh, do well, that. Well, I mean, this is a hard thing with comedies. I feel like there's not much about. Uh, I oh, got. We, we, I want to stay out. Oh man, I miss the I miss the days of co like constant good comedies. I feel like we were in, in a lucky kind of. Uh, When's straight. the last good comedy? Like full? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Ben said that. Like, when was the last good movie comedy? Like, there's good uh, comedy shows, like you know, seemingly, but uh, you know, I like that. Uh... The most recent one I saw in theaters, anyway, that I really thought was funny was the Silent Night. I thought that was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I bet I, I'm sure that's divisive. I imagine people do not like that movie, but I thought it was pretty funny. There's no way I could watch that. I fucking hate that guy, man. I really don't like him anymore. Oh, I think yeah, maybe this came up before oh, already. The David yeah, we Harbor talked about thing. this. Yeah, I'm over. I'm so over him. He's just. How did he get famous? He just. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, really I, I wanted to honorable you... mention a mockumentary style thing, Reno 911. Oh, oh good that's... call. I forgot about that. Very good. Very that, good. That, that, that is good stuff. I, this is a sweet spot for Eric there. I looked directly at Eric. Eric, that's uh, I'll, I know Eric for Reno 911. I really? would say I would think of you first for some reason. Interesting. I mm -hmm. was really that one one. Fast Eddie McClintock. No, my, I mean my favorite. It was Nick Swardson for me on that show. Terry, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> Terry's out of control. Always on his Terry. rollerblades. I was just telling him oranges. You're giving hand jobs, Terry. No, I reach in, I give him an <laughs> orange. That, that's when another he thing. Really. And as he did it, that's always the best bit of that. Isn't it? Nick, that's, 
Like, what makes it so good is, like, those people know those characters so well. Like, they're never, like, off basis with, like, what they're doing in episodes. Like, yeah, you're, I feel like so that's weird. really hard. Like, it seems simple when you don't think about it, but it's, like, that's very they are hard. those characters, I feel like. I never thought about it like that. Like, true. Will... What really bothers me about Reno 911 are the movies, though. Trudy. The movies are not good. Uh, yeah. was, there, was there more than one? Yeah, they came out with one not during pandemic. They had one on Paramount Plus. Like a QAnon. Yeah, oh, it yeah. was not good. The, both of the movies that I've seen, I, I don't know how many. I think there's just two. But the, that it doesn't tarnish the show. But that's the only thing that throws me off about Reno. Wow, true. All right, well, let's put a pin in okay, best in show. Let's give our ratings, and then we can move on to other topics. Let's give it the blue ribbon. Uh-huh. All right, well, I'll start right. it off with the eight. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to say seven points. Oh. I'm going to say 7.75. I <laughs> fell in love Wonderful. with Harlan Pepper and the Swans, especially. I think those were definitely my favorite parts. Um, I'm ready to raise this higher with more watches. I, I think I'm going to watch it again, and I think that rating is going to be creeping up the more times I watch it. But, um, yeah, now I guess I got to go watch Waiting for God. Eric, do you like this is Final Tap? Uh, I've only, I really only seen it once. I like it, but it's it's like you know rock and roll, like eighties rock, rock and roll. Uh, I I mean yeah, it's definitely rock. funny as shit, but I don't I, for some reason I don't <laughs> like that. I, just really just really quickly, Travis on Spinal Tap. It's like they go through like the history, like kind of like kind of like a Dewey Cox bit. They do just a quick montage though, and they show them on like a big band black and white show, like like the early Beatles, okay, about how they started, and by now they're like a heavy metal band now but they show off how they started and the guy who plays the the reserved gay in this i forget the guy's yeah. name the guy that's in Mc, you know McKeon, Dr. Dr. right he's the main singer of the band and the song is you know what i want <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you don't <laughs> that like the, <laughs> those are the it's lyrics a banger. <laughs> it's like a banger you to know me. what i want you know what i want <laughs> or maybe you don't <laughs> Like maybe you don't. <laughs> that's, that's nice and deep, like those. I like and then the chorus is, "Give me some money." <laughs> it's, it's just, I'm gonna rewatch it now. The final tap bit is so funny, dude. That is, there's some really good cuts in that. I always <laughs> link it to Walk Hard. Do you guys be be waiting for Guffman in the future? Now that you've seen, yeah, I feel yeah. like waiting for government's a harder pill. That was the smart thing that Eric did here because yeah. he mentioned waiting for government originally. Yeah. But this is definitely easing you into the tub. Waiting for government is a harder pill to swallow than this. Right? But it's like I, if, I'm glad that everyone liked it because I think it's now you'll be like cut. you'll be into it because it is like yeah. I don't know, man. I haven't given like, that like, yet. How do you Amanda know, like, doesn't do waiting for government. She's it's like, so All right. no dogs involved. I we'll get do it. that in the future. People love so, dogs. I mean, I feel like Best in Show also made like the dog show more popular, right? Is oh, that a 100%. thing? I'm sure it did, yeah. I mean, that's, that's a weird, I, like, symbiotic I relationship. Doubt, I doubt that. Best in, while Best in Show is is pretty popular, I would bet a good number of people, I would say more people haven't seen it than have seen it. Maybe, but a lot of people watch movies. Yeah. Oh, oh fuck. A, few of them a lot of people don't watch the okay. dog shows. Like, not more people don't. I don't know. Yeah, they're not doing, I, like, Super I would, Bowl numbers. I would, no, but I would say that, uh, I would say this movie had zero impact on people watching the dog shows. That's good. That, okay, cool. That's great. All right, I'm going to, I don't have any facts to back it up, but I'd imagine that's categorically wrong. All right, who else oh. is rating? Who's next? Oh. <laughs> oh, sorry. You said 7.75? Oh, no. I will go here. I normally do the Travis scale, but since I've seen this so many times, I cannot do that. I will give this... This is an 8 out of 10 for me. Damn. There you go. Not my favorite Christopher Guest movie, but got me in through the door. I think it's solid. I could watch it and never get bored of it, really, but... 
Uh, it's not. It's is this is this of, above or below a mighty wind? In, in oh, Eric it's above a mighty wind. wind. But I want to rewatch that okay. one too. This is the thing is like every movie has its own things that will like you'll find hilarious. But I think this one is the yeah. most solid throughout, probably. I don't know. I remember try, I remember trying to, I think I've seen all of a mighty wind but I it was a long time ago but I remember tr- when I was watching it like at first I was just like cool this is really dry and boring like I don't know if I can yeah. keep watching well, that, like I think I did I did this one cuz it's the easiest I, I didn't feel that way watching this at all really I I mean I I've seen so much stuff with these people in it by now that like even if it wasn't the stuff specifically that they did, that I kind of know what to expect because <clears throat> I know they do a lot of improv. Right. Um, try Are to you... go ahead and give my rating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven point nine. Seven point nine. I enjoyed okay. it. Okay, we're all hovering I, around I, the same here. I laughed. I laughed a couple times. Uh, pretty a pretty good chuckle. Oh, pretty so, pretty. You know, and I mean, the only, honestly, I I feel like the, of all the people in this movie, they like didn't really lift it up. I'd say Eugene Levy was kind of wasted. Like his character was not really that funny. Yeah, he didn't even get drafted. He, he was sort of the the punchline to Catherine O'Hara's yeah. funny stuff. That's right. tough to he, uh, than him do. Her. He yeah. did it, but what's cool is he's. If you're a writer, he's selfless. He wrote the movie. He wrote that character for himself. So That's I mean, so it's kind of cool. He wrote "God Loves a Terrier" too. So yeah, <laughs> he's a fucking genius. Uh, yeah. was, and his son and his son eventually fucked a pie. It's all relevant. So in reality, did he? I, mean, I didn't. I, didn't, I guess I didn't realize he was such a. He was a writer like that. He did he write American Pie too? Well, you, you would be no. surprised how many of the famous comedians are out there that started out as writers. I wouldn't be that surprised. Yeah, but we also mentioned earlier it's like a sixteen-page loose script, so maybe he just wrote. Like, what did he really write? You know? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Oh right? yeah. wow! Yeah, well, he wrote the base. Yeah, it's still the too. basis of the character. Delish. <laughs> Some dish. Some dish. God damn that dude. Fucking amazing. Okay, well my rating, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a seven point five. Uh I thought it was a very solid movie. I, I laughed a lot. Um I don't you know, I don't laugh that much anymore, guys. And it was nice to laugh, you know. <laughs> yeah. But seriously, uh, brings joy. Yeah, the, the the duo of uh the, the the braces duo, I fucking lost my mind when they were like Eric said when they were freaking out with that dog, like he's losing it because of Busy Bee. Look at him! Look at him! He's like, no, 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 Busy Bee. It's funny to me because like dealing with all these dumb fucking dogs, that's literally what it is. It's like my dog, I don't know what their problem is. It's fucking you, bitch. You suck. <laughs> That's so, yeah, it was hilarious to watch them yell in their face. Calm down! Calm down! They're just projecting everything the entire time. They're yeah, like, and, of, and of course they had a new dog. That was perfect. And he doesn't watch us have sex. That's all that mattered. So. One of my favorite bits, actually, the guy, the guy when she's oh, like, oh, no, he, he does. He, like, he likes it. Yeah, he, he likes he it. Likes it yeah. He liked it. I'm sorry. And he was, yeah. And something is like... Yeah, I'm sorry. In the, in the movie, she says, like, oh, I forget their dog's name, but she's like, she took a dump in your slippers. She goes, not my Orvis slippers. <laughs> oh, and that's when he's on the treadmill with the dog? Yeah, you know what Orvis is? It's like a fly fishing company. Yeah. That's why, it's like, that made me laugh my ass. Like, it's just catalog like, people. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, catalog comment. Oh, my God. My Orvis slippers. We're so lucky to have grown up with catalogs. What the fuck? Who came up with that line? Look up the catalog line. That's, that's all that really matters. It's funny as shit. That's, that's all that that's, matters. I think, I think it's the most obvious and clearest case of the um, the riffing, like the uh, what's that, the improv going on when they're talking about. And he was at the Starbucks across the street. Yeah. And then he says, "Well," and I'm like, and I'm, uh, and now I'm lactose intolerant. And then she picks that up, and they keep <laughs> building off of each other. Like yeah, yeah. that is. They're going Amazing. so quickly back and forth. And he's like, oh, no, I'm a chai, latte, yeah. mocha. And he like, oh, my God, dude. That, that scene right well, there is 
pure improv. See, they get off on that that's, shit. That's, that's I get off on of watching improv. them get off. That would be, yeah, that's I mean. Rule of in, improv, yes and. You always go yeah, with it and you add on. Or, oh, yeah. Never, they just no, 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 no. Oh, he was at the Starbucks across the street. Oh, yeah, and I was on the yeah, Starbucks staff, yeah. And then, Jeez. and so, like, when I'd go to the one that she wasn't at, I'd think maybe next time I'll go to the other one, and then she'd be at the other one. Like, that was, that was perfect. Say, hey, Good honey, you, show, you got five there minutes. You go. Tell me what's new. Yeah. All right, I'll wrap it up with the 8.4, which yeah. brings wow. us to a very close to Eric's rating of, of eight. Nice. It's a 7.9 one right there. there. Job. Good choice, Eric. Way to go. Excellent job. I'm glad right. you guys hadn't seen that. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, yeah, another perfect shoe on. We've had some good shoe ons lately. You know what's no, funny, though, no, is uh, I saw, uh, I saw have this thing about... Have the What? Have the views represented that? I doubt it. I <laughs> <laughs> We're not working on views here. This is purely a passion project. No, you know what? I if feel... you want, we got to do the Twitter. That's how you get the views. We don't don't you do dare it. put us on Twitter. I really, I, I, no offense to Travis or, or uh, Swanner here, but I was really hoping to get Zach's opinion of this movie. Like I was, <laughs> I was, I, I was really hoping to get Zach's thoughts here. Because oh, forgot about it. He hasn't seen it either. Yeah, he said he'd never he seen it. forgot about the podcast. That shocks me that he never seen it. Yeah, okay. it shocked you too. Inside I, by Bo Burham, movie shoehorn has five views. Woo! And three of them, three of them are Justin Ferber. <laughs> you can only get one in, one view per IP address. Well, oh, okay. Me. Well, it wasn't me. <clears throat> Color of money. 11 views, the most by far in a while. Dude, I'm, why, you know what? I pick movies that get views, bro. You My picked movies Inside and Color of Money? Huh? You picked Inside and Color I of Money? I picked Inside. No, but I, I picked one of the other ones. Uh, I think Death to Smoochie had a bunch. Yeah, Death The easiest Smoochie pick is. you'll ever make, Nick, these fucking morons. Yeah. I picked Inside. It was a 10. A variable weight has... I gave you I the picked that one, too. Shapes. Yeah. I picked you that one. You showed your too. cards. You showed you showed your cut yeah. neutral colors. Me and Nick see you now, and that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> what is, I what see is, you. What 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 is this? I'm <laughs> talking about how they rated inside. We me and Nick, we see you now. It was a clear 10, and if you it was it was what I like to call a tracer shot. <laughs> now I know what I'm dealing with. Of, it was really, a baseline. I really can't remember what that guy that's how much I did. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I didn't rate it badly. It's just, for sure, again, for sure, I knew at the time it's forgettable. So. For sure, my man. For sure, my man. Eugene Levy rocked. Six, six, uh, YouTube parody songs all yeah, together. You got it. You got yeah. it. You, yeah, you make stuff. Well, I could have done that if I wanted to, but I had, yeah, a, you could have, I had yeah, a job yeah, during easily, COVID. I'm like, that's, I that. could have done it easily. I was saving lives during COVID. On like, yeah, that. You, yeah, you were. <laughs> what? <laughs> on Paramount? What? How is that possible? Yeah, fire MD. I was making sure the news got to the people <laughs> of New York, Miami, and Boston. Sometimes LA. Hey, yeah, no, bro. That's great, man. Thank you so much for that. We appreciate your service. Is that what I'm supposed to say? So, just saying, so, like, I didn't have. Do you, the time. do you get a discount at the golf course when you go? Yeah, do you tell them you're a service? Do you get a ten percent off the for? Force? Uh, you know what, uh, Wyatt, after watching that um, Tommy, inside, the only realized. thing that I could know, the final song, All Eyes on Me, that one oh. kept playing in my head over and over. Yeah, that song is a banger. About to listen to it right now. Yeah, I've, I've listened yeah. to the songs as they as songs. Yeah, they're, I don't know. That's they a great life hack, hands uh, up. Uh, uh, to put on this podcast, to put on YouTube, life hack number thirty-five: tell people you're a veteran of war to get a discount <laughs> <at> golf courses. <laughs> do you do that? Uh, well, well, no, I just say stolen he's, valor. Yeah, he's saving lives, and people are thanking him for his service. I used what? to love watching those videos. Oh, stolen valor! Did you know? Did you know Wyatt's played at Spring Creek? I didn't According know that. One, 
According to Corey gave me a shirt that says Spring Creek. So now I'm like scared someone's gonna be like, How do you like Spring Creek, my man? <laughs> like, I, oh. Just say the shirt someone got me. That happened to me the other no, day. I'm never I was gonna say my that. Okay. Great horse. <laughs> Great. <laughs> it's actually weird. A lot of people around here know that uh, know Spring Creek. Like uh, if you go to Prince William or uh, a couple of courses around here, they'll say Oh, bu- 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 bu. And I'm like, yeah, my dad just buys me this shit for presents. And- well, <laughs> I was I was not aware that they only recently became private. I thought they were always private. I didn't it's, I didn't know no, they still, went private. It's still public. Corey said they went private last year. Okay, who's who's next? So. Who's they got new management and yeah. stuff. I don't uh, know what the deal well, is. Cor- Corey's Corey's brother-in-law is not a, a golf podcast. It's not a uh, golf podcast. No, it's a, not a care. golf podcast. Nobody's who's a member as well. The next movie. Who's the next chooser? Who's up? Well, probably, it, I think it's hilarious. Dick. It's probably Zach. Believe it or not, it's it's the the dumb little douche. He's hey, skip. He skipped me. Now it goes to <laughs> me. <laughs> On the, on the dumb little douche. No, right. you, Zach is the dumb little douche. <laughs> <You're joking. laughs> uh, uh, well, I've, so there's, terrifying. I've got two thoughts in my head. One is just pick a movie I want, or one is if I were in the mind of Zach, what would Zach try to guess what Zach would have picked tonight? That's impossible. Yeah. I, like he would have picked like without a paddle or something. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> He loves um, it. Uh, he, the well, job is pretty good, actually. Oh, yeah. But that is a... I get what you're saying, yeah. Um, I, I really... I, I, I didn't come prepared, but something I came across scrolling today was something that we discussed a lot last week, or at least I brought up, was The Man Who Wasn't There, the Coen Brother film. And I'm kind of tempted to, to get us on that train. But I might have to... Is I might it free have anywhere? Double... What's that? Is it free I'm anywhere? Wanting. I don't know. I think it might have been. It, 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 when, it, when I was scrolling free. across, it looked like it was free somewhere. Fucking but I, I might do a rain check and text the group because I really don't know what I want to watch. And oh. I don't think I want to go back into a Cone Brother. You Not gave it. Eric like 100 that. movies a few weeks ago. Oh, yeah, you got a list there. Why don't you roll, rattle some of those off on that hey, list there? Oh, some of these are mine that I write in, and some are from you guys. Oh, got I've got my. I've got. Go ahead, please. Go ahead. I've, I think I know what I want, though. What is it? I've got two in mind. It's uh, both Spike Lee's. I did 25th Hour a while back. I want to go a little bit older, and it would either be Summer of Sam. And again, I don't know if these are free or not. It would be Summer of Sam or Clockers. One of those. Clockers! Things. Probably Summer of Sam. I'd like to do Summer of Sam. Is that the one with uh, Leguizamo? Yes. Okay. Come oh, oh. back to that back Bobo Bobo Adrian, connection. Before, before Adrian Brody was doing Pepsi commercials. <laughs> Diet Pepsi. Not free anyway. Right. Okay. Next. <laughs> okay, how about is Clockers free anywhere? You know what? That we should we should make that the rule as far as free and paid is that you have to every other at least every other pick has to be free or paid by the, that you make personally. So if you well, pick a movie that was paid last week, urban you have to, channel, you have to pick a free one the next time that? when you go. Okay. Hey, you can start your seven-day free trial on the All Black Channel Network for uh, Clockers, Nick. We all could. Yeah. yeah. Is that okay. a real I'm thing? Or is that accessible? Here from I've the... done that. I've done that many times to watch these movies free. Just You've done start a seven-day trial. Channel. Not that I just one. did a free trial. What did I watch for? A f- I just did a free trial to watch something, and I just canceled it right afterwards. Can't yeah, I've got, got a free trial. I think this is one of yours. Oh, John Torturo, I'm in. John Delroy Lindo? Delroy Lindo? Yeah, Delroy. Is, it, is Delroy Lindo's best. Is Delroy Lindo's Delroy best role Lindo. in Clockers? What movie are you talking? Clockers. Delroy Lindo. Clockers? God damn it. Clockers. Clockers 3? Akai Pfeiffer? No, it's not. 
Okay. Give me, what else is on the list, Eric? We have The Godfather, Waiting for Guffman, I See You, Let the Right One In, Willow, The Three Barrows of Marquise Estrada, The Girl, Baraka, Shallow How, Clockers, Eraserhead, Network, Inherent Vice, The Negotiator, The Ice Storm, King of Kong, Equilibrium, Garden State, Summer of Sam. All right, back it up, back it up. Is Network for you anywhere? Well, let's see. What movie? Is that the one that with works? the woman from the bus? <laughs> 1976. The woman from the what? <laughs> the woman from the bus. The bus? It's a 1976 <laughs> film. It is not free anywhere. The bus? <laughs> it was on Netflix a while back. Shit. Um, Nobody right. wants to answer me. What did what, you what say? It? It's a 1976 yes. film? Yes. yes. Oh, God. Oh, what's well, that's, a top, that's a top five movie ever made, probably. What's that called? The, it's called okay. Network. Not free. Next. Um, you were going through a couple there that sounded a, a, a right. What? Three Barrels of Marquise Estrada. Baraka. I can't imagine that's free anywhere. Keep going. Eraserhead. Is Eraserhead free anywhere? Let's find out. Oh. Mm. Uh, on Max, what is Max? Is it HBO? Yeah, it's HBO. It's free. Have yeah, actually they've got some. Yeah. All right. I'll do a racer. It's been a while. I don't think I've seen your racer. I think you're gonna want to watch it, given your proclivity for um, Twin Peaks. I think it's called. Yeah, Twin Peaks. It's a David Lynch. It's the yeah. David Lynch. It's the David Lynch. <clears throat> well, it's an hour I think, blue, I think blue Velvet. I think Blue Velvet would be considered like the David Lynch, but this is like the one that put his ass. Did you read on the, the real map? This is like the one that was like, this all right, yep. Ben. This is what Ben wants to watch. Henry Spencer tries to survive his industrial environment, his angry girlfriend, and the unbearable screams of his newly born mutant child. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I want to watch this. Yeah, you're gonna uh, watch it because you're a part of the movie Shoehorn Podcast. You've been. I already know. I already know Travis. Is this, a, is this like a gross horror? I movie? No, 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 Nick. Oh, no, I know you, you have. Go fresh. But you I know your fresh. take on it. <laughs> yeah, what is it? Fresh. That's going to be a Travis-approved movie right there. Yeah. Don't yeah. spoil it. Don't spoil it. Ben's going to want to see this. Well, it's oh. like a, you oh. know, a very famous bit. Ooh. I think you'll enjoy it. And I, I don't even know. Maybe I won't like it these days, but it's, it's interesting. Was this a Minority Report bit? Is that what you mean? Well, you don't no. like Minority Report anymore? Well, no, I just meant... I think I've talked about how I love those type of movies where sort of the hunted become the hunter. Hun oh, the God. hunter become the hunted type. You love that shit, don't you, Hughes? <laughs> I love it. Geek you it you get enough of it, my man. I'll tell you what. Mm -hmm. Barry Lyndon. Don't you always want us to watch that? I want to watch Barry Lyndon. Is what? that on Max? What even is that? Is that free? Is that free anywhere? Well, I don't know if you guys... I mean... No, I, I want to watch Eraserhead. I think, yeah. I'll do Barry Lyndon another day, or somebody else can. can I'll watch I, that pretty uh, recently, too. Of a rich widow and assumes a dead husband's dog. Aristocratic position in 18th century England. Wow. That is, that is my... that When I think of Nick, I yeah. think of Barry yeah. Lyndon. You think of Barry Lyndon or Amadeus when you That's think all of Amadeus, Amadeus, Amadeus! Uh, if, it's got, if it's got powdered wigs, then it's like... Fuck. <laughs> I forgot the show. nine points off the bat. That movie started. I did, a, I did a Barry Lyndon song with Desi in his grandma's basement one yeah. time. Yeah. I, I feel like I think I have that. Well, that's too bad. Are you wearing a Hogs t shirt jersey? He sent me, yeah, I am. He sent me a list of uh of like random songs, and I there was like one of your commercials. Remember, you go down to Pappy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah there was some, there was another one. Macaroni. Some good shit on there. Like, hot like, dogs. Uh, I texted you showed me that rapper Wyatt and um I was listening to his album I forget the guy's name but it was like something in space or whatever like oh, the cover was old Droog. yeah 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 
And so I was listening to it, and there's one song where it's like him tripping out and like getting like right uh, uncomfortable. And Desi and I did that. As I like have a, that a, song. I have that song. The bad trip true. Oh, I just oh it, man. I, said, I just sent it to Desi. Man. I sent him the old Droog song. I said what? Do, I said what does this song remind you of? And he texted back, "No fucking way!" Like he couldn't believe it. Yeah, I I want to, dude. It's I need to send that to. Yeah, I have. I, send that to the group. Yeah, it was you. You guys, you could do bits like those were hilarious bits. Come on down to Pappy, get your tie chained, milkshake. Eric and I did one. Eric and I did a legal offices one. Uh, 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 Benson and Benson. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember. I do remember. That. I'm I'm Larry Benson and I'm, I'm Chuck Terry Benson. Benson. Yeah, something like that. And I'm Terry Just Benson. That one, we we're like going back and forth, and you went rape. <laughs> rape. <laughs> Or maybe you did rape. Somebody said rape uh, about like what we cover. Car accidents, right? Yeah, it was like things that we cover. <laughs> we'll get you off for spousal abuse, car accident, right? <laughs> oh God, yeah, I'm telling you, dude, we could do it. That's a bit. Put your mind. Put your. That put, shit is so put, funny. Put, put, it, put it. Come on, baby, go to that. That's not our wins. folks. Get your ass Desi in was Desi's our basement and do some bits. Get down there Desi right now. Desi was our ticket out, and Desi never made it. And that's his fault, not ours. Yeah, you know? yeah he never made it because he deleted anything good. You can't even imagine. He, well, deleted. he didn't delete it. He couldn't find it. His I'll never desktop forget. was like, I, I his laid files down were called ADJF. Uh, and uh, I laid down it. a verse, and Eric went, that might have been the best song. I swear to God, he said, that might have been the best thing you ever did. And Desi goes, I lost it. I don't know where it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's that's, gone. That's the best awkward. part is, is you can buy yeah. like an extra external hard drive for like a hundred dollars or it something. We were at, we were at, yeah, I still remember. We were at his mom's house in Maryland. And it was like, dude, oh, that, that was, was a Ziploc Chronicle song. Yeah, it, it was a, it was a lost Ziploc Chronicle song. I I'm gonna have to do that over again. Why? I, it's gone. I've lost it. I don't know what I saved it as. <laughs> I put in double, double, dot, dot. You just would push buttons. You're talking about someone who deletes. 90% of his comments in a group meet. <laughs> you are going to That's not PC. I got to get rid of it. He, he deletes his shit? I'm surprised. Oh, my God. All the time. Hey, I guarantee go through. 80% of his messages are deleted by himself. 80%? He, he's the biggest self-deleter there is. He's so, all, his, all his tweets. I had his Twitter on notifications. I would get his tweets. A few minutes later, gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. his group me chess. Uh, if you're not gone. if you're not in there when he's Jerome, you won't see it the next day because he wakes up and he goes, "Why well, I, I yeah. can't believe I did this," and they're all gone. And that's what I worry I about think, him. I think that chat is such a godsend. It's such a treat for me because I'll sometimes I'll be in there for like two days straight, and then I'll be there. I'll be out for however long. Forget there were about four, it. There was like four hundred messages missing. That it like popped <laughs> up like four hundred and thirty, and I got in there. And I just scrolled a little bit, and I just read what's there. And Jason's talking about dogs eating whipped cream off his genitals or whatever. <laughs> and then, and then, and then Ben follows it up with, "I have my, I have my pregnant wife buy beer." And it's just like, <laughs> it's so good. It, it's so good to just randomly see shit like that without anything. Like, I love it. Okay, let's. It's like the show that never ends. It's like, a, oh shit, we're recording. You can't tell them. Um, yeah, we don't. We yeah, we talk on Slack. Up. We don't. We just. It's just something. He's 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 got problems. He's one Idiot. of the. All right, so we're watching Eraserhead. Yeah, sure. Next week, not tune my first in. Pick, but sure. I, I know it's. This is not going to get good reviews. I'm telling you <laughs> right now. <laughs> Well, it's going to be a talking piece, it sounds like. Should I let my wife watch it? How As Amanda sta how stable are things at home? <laughs> like, yeah. I wouldn't have Amanda watch this. Yeah, no. No. Amanda would be out very quickly. Yeah, well, I mean, you can always let leave it up to their judgment. You know, they're adults. Yeah, no, hey, hey, you. everybody plays their own game. Come on into I'll the watch room. I'll watch it by myself. This is what we're playing. It's called Eraserhead. It's about a mutant baby child. Do you want to watch it? Speak of the devil. Oh, Desi's Des Des posted something he's about to delete. <laughs> yeah, Jeez. over under. You got five minutes over Rick, under. take a picture of it. Looks like it's a song, too. All right. Um, 
What? Oh, no. All right, so we're watching a race ahead. Tune in next week. Justin, if you're watching still, leave a nice comment there. Way too early for him to be doing this show. Tell us who won the draft. Who had your favorite duo? Mm -hmm. Smash that button. Who yeah. was the number leave one sleeper? Yeah. We'd love to hear from you on all of our devoted fans. The horn, the, the, we don't, we don't the know. The shoehorners. We don't know what to call you. The yet. horn dogs. They are out there. We slip into their minds like a shoehorn into a boot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, when it comes down to it, this guy is that a crowbar? This shoehorn this week. <laughs> no, that's a shoehorn. <laughs> this is the shoehorn rating. I, well, I have I enough of these. I can start doing that. I can just hold up one of the four right. I have. That are Do like you them. use shoehorns? Oh, yeah. I thought shoehorn was. Oh, yeah. What is it? <laughs> no, no, those are, those are shoe oh, yeah. trees. I use those too. Oh, <laughs> I just you got your fancy Alan Edmonds shoes or something. I um, I I happen to be sixty seven years old. Wow, yeah, episode so thirty. I didn't even know what this a shoe is on brand as shit. He's pulling out actual shoehorns. You got some you, cedar shoe trees. This oh! is a shoe tree. <laughs> oh, is that AI? Is that a robot foot? Oh my and god! This is the shoehorn. So thank you for tuning in to Shoehorn. Do you wear those to work? End it. End it. Cut. Cut. Yeah. Cut, nigga. Cut. Play more. Cut. Come on, cut. <laughs> cut. Cut. Play more. Not into it. Come on, dog. God damn. You ever seen that uh, video of that black dude trying to drink a bottle of liquor and he That's chokes cool. on himself? He goes, cut. Cut. It's one of the greatest viral. Yeah. I'm about to down this whole. Oh, God. I said, cut. Come on, please. All right, we'll see you next week, Shoe Home. Yeah, bye we'll bye. See you. Oh, I thought you had stopped already. That's.